Welcome to Wisconsin Women. We're on Monona Drive today and we're at the Ultimate Veritas Spa Salon and we are surrounded by fountains, nice fireplace and so much beauty. You could come here too, maybe as an employee. We'll talk with the owner later about some openings that she has here. Right now though, we're talking finances and if any stage in your life, you've probably got some financial goals set up. More important than the goal than after that is the follow through. Here to help us with our follow through is Sue Peck. She's a CFP, the founder and president of Evolution Financial. <laughs> Thanks for joining us, Sue. Thank you for having me. So you help people turn those wishes into goals. We've talked about that. Right. And we've got the goals now. What trips people up? And they kind of fall off the wagon. Yeah, it's a lot of the, the peer pressure, the keeping up with the Joneses, the lifestyle creep when you get a new job and you start pay, start spending more money because you start receiving more money. <laughs> right. You know, those are the kind of things that start derailing you and you don't realize that you're you're spending all of this money that could be going toward your goals. Uh -huh. So true, though. We don't want to, you know, keep it up with the Joneses if you can. <laughs> right. <No. laughs> so, so when is a good time to start evaluating then uh, your funds to see if you're staying on track? It's a good time. I would suggest doing it on a regular basis. Take a look at that spending plan of yours and and look at it not in the way of where can I save money, but where are the leaks? Where am I spending money that? it's not getting me toward the goals that I want to reach, right? You know, so you're going through your daily life and you're getting, I don't want to bring back the morning coffee and things like that, but it is, you know, all those extra spending that, that all that extra spending that you do that could keep you from getting to those goals that you're looking for. Sure. I like the term she used, leaks, right? Because right. it's that little thing here and that little thing right. there, and, and before you know it. <laughs> right, right. There's you have the whole big hole. <laughs> <laughs> right. Is there a, a way that people can remember on a daily basis, I don't know, is that putting something on your refrigerator or? In fact, that is exactly <laughs> is what I really do. That is totally what I do. I actually have a couple of lists on my refrigerator right now. One is the needs, one is the wants. Like these are the things that I want to keep in mind. But you could put it on your phone, you know, have regular check-in meetings with your, with your spouse, your partner, a good friend, and just make sure that you're on track. You know, one of the things that you want to do is keep that end goal in mind. Mm -hmm. And you know, you and I have talked about the fact that I just adopted, we just adopted a couple of dogs. Yay. And mm -hmm. They have issues, so they're both rescue dogs. They've both got some issues going on in there. And I was talking to my husband over the weekend, and I'm like, I just can't wait until a year from now when we have two really well-behaved dogs. Sure. And one of the th reasons I brought that up is that's the goal. And now it's everything from here to then that gets us there. It's all that training. And it's the same thing with your financing. Every, what is your goal? Every what day gets counts. You there? That's yep. good. Yeah. I love that. Exactly. That's good. That's, that's very, very good. good analogy, yeah. So Sue, when it comes to a financial planner like yourself, uh, how does that help us in our process then? It is a lot of keeping your eye on the prize, you know, just taking taking the time to really sit down and talk about the goal, but it's also the strategizing and it's also the, you know, the conversations around, so what have you been doing? Who have you been hanging out with that you've been spending all of this money? And, you know, let's talk to <laughs> Sorry, those friends. <laughs> but it's not that you can't hang out with them, but maybe you need to have a conversation and say, hey, these are the things that I'm working toward. And so let's strategize that conversation let's get you a better job you know let's mm -hmm. let's do all of those things and this is where a financial planner can start to play a role I think sure. having the conversations is helpful because putting the thing on the fridge is great for a yeah. while and pretty soon you don't see it anymore right and so having those check-ins yep um, when people start a relationship with you get the goals set and a plan in place mm -hmm. how does that work then do you set them free and or how do they maintain a relationship with you a lot of times people, people do want to maintain a relationship so they want to do that ongoing planning so they can continue to talk about the goal they can continue to do a redo of the plan and I also do do investment management. So one of the things that people are looking for right now is socially responsible investing. I do that as well. So that's something that people keep in mind if you're looking for somebody to manage your assets. Wow. So uh, fabulous people are already wanting to get <laughs> in with you. So, so how do we schedule with you? A great way to schedule is just to go to my website, evolutionfinplan.com. And there's a link right there. You can schedule yourself right into my calendar. You don't have to worry about calling. Don't have to worry about emailing. Just schedule yourself right in there. <laughs> Uh, I'll put the times. Thank mm. you so much, Sue Pack Thank with you. Evolution Financial. We'll be right back after this break. You're watching Wisconsin Women.